Hey, YouTubians, Miss Coop. Hope everything is going well. Look, I wasn't going to post this video, but I keep getting signs, and so I have to go with the signs that I'm receiving. So I'm going to go ahead and post the video. I hope you enjoy it. Okay. Quite honestly, I had no idea that this hair was going to turn out this nice today. Let me take a look at it. This is a Bantu knot out. It's been a long week. Very long week. And I have to tell you, I put my time in today. I put my time in this week. Anyway, um, like I said, I had no idea that this was going to turn out. Uh, it's great. Take a look at it. And, um, like I said, it's a, it's a Bantu knot out. I, um, in an effort to hurry up last night, I um, twisted my hair up. Now, y'all know I like Bantu knots. So, back two years ago, I guess when I was transitioning, I would wear Bantu knot outs a lot. I don't know. Take a look at my, uh, my uh, mini family reunion demo and you'll see I was sporting a, a Bantu knot out at the time. But anyway, one of the questions I want to ask you is, um, are you authentically who you want to be? I'm asking this question because um, I have a coworker that uh, went natural probably about a year after I did. And every time I see her, she's she's got a wig on. She She says she can't. Uh, she can't handle uh, doing all that stuff to her hair. And, you know, I, ha I have to say again, you know, working with your natural hair is going to require work. The same work as it required when you were um, wearing your hair with, with the uh, relaxers in it. Now, all that being said, you're going to have to work at being beautiful. You just can't uh, decide, I'm not going to do anything. You're going to have to put some work into the old hair. You're going to have to style it. You're going to have to shampoo it. You're going to have to braid it up. And trust me, I love, you know what? Um, I don't know why my hair looks lighter. gonna have to work at it you have to put some you have to put some labor in behind your work uh, and here's the funny thing and I, I say this uh, all the time uh, I, I see a lot of my uh, counterparts out there same age um, and for whatever reasons they they've given up they said, I'm not, I'm not doing all that anymore. And, and I can understand not wanting to do that anymore. You know, and what do I mean by that? I'm talking about, you know, maintaining your beauty. You know, uh, you, you always want to look good. You want to look good in your home. As well as when you step out into the street, you want to look good. You know, so you, you're going to have to do a little work. You're going to have to uh, pamper yourself. Don't give up on yourself just because, you know, you're over 50, you know? You, uh, you have to face the world as who you are. Now, this is who I am. And as Eddie Murphy said in Boomerang, this is my Mac Daddy, okay? I'm showing my Mac Daddy or my Mac Mama, whichever one you want to call it. But the thing is, you got to work at it. Beauty is not something that just walks up on you like it did when you were young. Now, my sister got mad at me. Well, she didn't really get mad, but she was saying, um, you know, uh, it's easy for a beautiful woman to say you got to work at it. Okay. I, I hear what you're saying, but... I'm hoping 
that every woman watching this video or within hearing distance of this video understand what I am saying to you right now. No matter what, you are a beautiful woman. And the most beautiful thing that you can sport at this present time is your confidence. If you walk around like you don't have any confidence, then hell no, you don't look good. If you're walking around hanging your head, ashamed, you know, come on. No, you don't look good. But if you walk around as a beautiful, proud, powerful woman over 50, then all of your beauty is going to ring out to the heavens. Now, I told a co-worker this week, I told her that she was powerful by what she knows. And now see, I don't forgot how I, what it was I told her, but I was trying to tell her about um, this week's Newsweek woman. She's on the cover. She's also the, oh, the, um, she is the COO of Facebook. And I'm constantly trying to say to her to be direct in her approach to um, telling people uh, what they need to know when it comes to the work that we do. And, um, you know, sometimes some of the greatest stuff just rolls off my lips. And I guess perhaps maybe those are words that come from God himself. I, I, I don't know. But... Um, uh, let, let me get get it. And I told her, I said, um, you should. It's the it's the article from the um, Time magazine. And I said to her, you should read this article. She talks about the same thing I'm always telling you about. She makes no apologies for being assertive. Make no apologies for being assertive. Now, this is what I told my co-worker. You are powerful by what you know and effective by how you say it. And um, um, I think that it's very important that as a woman, you are very direct. You do not have to lull people into um, understanding what it is that you have to say. You don't have to, when you write your emails, you don't have to say, can you please do, please, please, please. I got an email today that was full of so many daggone pleases. It was unbelievable. Please send me a copy of this and please take a look at this and please look. You don't have to say all of that, please. As a woman, it looks like a woman wrote the daggone email because you're begging people to do their job. You're begging them to send you a copy of the report when they're finished. You're begging them to take a look at the damn email. You're begging them to do... Come on now. You don't have to do all that. You do not have to do all that. All you have to do is tell them people directly what it is that you want. Karen, attached is a copy of the report from last week. Review the document, make your corrections, and provide your input as early as possible. I will be needing this by Monday, close of business. Karen, thank you for your support, and I look forward to your response. Period. That's all you have to do. You don't have to go through all of that. Please take a look at the attached. Please do this. Please, upon completion, send me a cut. Look, that's a sure sign that the, a woman wrote the damn email. I don't mean to say damn. I just get so upset when I see this type of goings on, goings on. This is why we as women don't get the promotions in the workplace. 
Trust and believe when I tell you. When I was in the military, I did not play that please, please, please stuff. I told you what I wanted. I command and demand respect. Period. You will not speak to me any kind of way. Period. We are here to get a job done. So, let's get on with the business of getting business done. This is Miss Coop signing off. I'll be talking to you soon and y'all keep in touch. Thanks for keeping the sister strong and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Mwah.